potato is one such root when added to any dish it just tastes amazing but today let's make the potato our hero and make a divine potato curry hi this is smita dev and on our delicious journey today we are going to make a beautiful potato curry now to make this curry we are going to heat 3 tablespoons of ghee and we are going to add two bay leaves to this here i have three medium sized onions that are finely chopped we are going to add this and saute it till they are soft and translucent now to accelerate this process of cooking the onions till they are translucent let's add some salt to this onions are going to sweat and they're going to cook faster the onions are translucent and soft let's add a tablespoon of ginger paste and a tablespoon of garlic paste saute it for a minute now let's add a tablespoon of coriander seed powder a teaspoon of cumin seed powder quickly mix this and now we're going to add the hero of the dish potatoes so i've taken 5 medium potatoes peel them and chop them into 1 inch cubes basically you need to keep potatoes in water so they do not get oxidized and turn black so let's add the potatoes give it a good mix we sauteed the potatoes for a minute and now let's add our spices i'm going to add a teaspoon of turmeric powder a tablespoon of red chili powder now we're going to add some salt to taste and now we're going to add half a liter of water to this and let's cover this and cook it till the potatoes are 3/4 done our want the potatoes to be cooked only till 3/4 done let's check if they are yep it's done let's add a teaspoon of garam masala powder here i have made a puree of tomatoes about 4 tomatoes which i have boiled peeled and simply pureed we're going to add this mix this well now i'm not going to waste the water in which the tomatoes were boiled i'm going to add that as well which is almost 2 cups of water and now what we're going to do is make a slurry with gram flour so i'm going to take 2 tablespoons of gram flour add little water to this mix this well see that there are no lumps formed huh so initially add little water and when you feel that there are no lumps you can add a little more water so all in all i've added half a cup of water to this mix it well now i want you to reduce the flame to a medium low and quickly add this gram flour paste and cover this and cook till the potatoes are done quickly check if the potatoes are done they cooked well now we have to give this curry a tadka and unfortunately i've forgotten to get my tadka pan so i'm going to give it in a huge vessel i'm sure you have your tadka pan so for the tadka i'm going to heat 3 tablespoons of ghee and once the ghee melts we're going to add 10 fenugreek seeds let's wait for the seeds to darken a little turn a little golden and now we're going to add a teaspoon of fennel seed ya sauce okay quickly let's add a teaspoon of mustard seeds a pinch of asafoetida or hing curry leaves and i'm going to add this tadka to the curry and a beautiful delicious potato curry is ready to be served i think i'll have it with puris crisp garma garam puris so you saw what an easy recipe this is 
do try it, let me know and subscribe to Smita Gale.